Hello, hello, hello. So I want to take a look at some different textures for the Khajiits and the Argonians. I have these two feminine ones, and then I also have, you'll pardon my scrolling for a moment, I also have these two masculine ones. So I want to, um, let me show you kind of what I have set up here. To look at these textures, what I thought would be best was, now I still have a lot of different things turned on there, but I turned off, we're going to use the vanilla body, I turned off all the non-vanilla body stuff. Um, I even turned off like this editor because it offers different colors and different things. I left this, I don't think that matters. Um, I turned off all the bodies, so we're going to be looking at a vanilla body. And then we're going to look at the textures for the Khajiits and the Argonians using these mods here. Now I'll tell you a little more about these mods. These mods are by Monster Raider. And these versions are newer versions ported by Adam J. Esquivelle. That's the best I'm going to do on pronouncing the name. I'll try to remember to link all of these under the video. If I forget anything, by all means, let me know. But um, these are the four textures we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at male and female. And then at the end, I want to take and try the female textures on a CBBE body and see if they'll work. Because someone had asked me about this. Now, this says that these textures are made for UNP bodies, okay? But I just thought we should take a look at it and see what we think, even with a CBBE body and see if it's workable at all. There could be some cases where it might be, but it may not be, and it was just a thought. And like I said, we're just going to look at the texture on the, on the male bodies. This is supposed to, uh, let's see... It has gray cat to fit the vanilla theme, and it has smooth belly. If you want your Khajiits to have abs textures, the textures are made for male bodies that add better feet and stuff. I mean, that's their little note here. Um, we're just going to take a look at this and see what we think as best we can. And the same here with the Argonians. Now, I don't normally do a lot of stuff with beast races, and that's because I'm probably just not that interested. I, th I think they're cool in their own way, but I've just never quite gotten into that. So I'm just going to show you these textures and we're going to move forward from there, okay? All right, remember at the end, I'm going to bring the females into a CBBE body and see what happens. So if you're not interested in all the other texture stuff, you may want to jump more towards the end and see that part if you want to see that. It's going to be an experiment. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see what happens, okay? Alright, let's hop into the game and we'll check these textures out. Alright, so this is a kitty that I created and I just called her Kitty. Now we're going to switch back and forth, but uh, this is the female. And I just wanted you to be able to see this texture up close. This is a fairly easy way to do this. There is other ways, but we don't really, I mean, there's really only so much. We don't, we only get so close to our characters. We're not usually this close even. But um, you can see the belly. Well, okay, we went too far and we've disappeared. All right, anyway, I can use something else for that. But in general, okay, I went too far there. In general, you can see here, now I normally use a mod that knocks the tails off my Argonians and Khajiits. So this is a rare time that you will actually see tails on a character of mine, just so you know. Nonetheless, this is the initial gray Khajiit that came up. Let me take you in here. Okay, so this was her. Now we're going to, yeah, we're going to move my, move and lose my changes. 
I don't know. That texture, does that look odd? Hold on a second. Now, this is on a vanilla body. Maybe you're just supposed to play the gray cat, but I think that looks okay now. For some reason, in the in the character editor there, it looked weird. Maybe that's my imagination. Anyway, or maybe that's just the vanilla body and that's the thing. So if we play around with the slider, I imagine the idea of the smooth belly idea was that you could add abs. You could do an ab texture and it would show up on, on this more human looking belly. And if we go back to, let's see. Yeah, I lose my changes for a second. If we go back here, you can also play with the uh, the waist ladder. And you know what? The body is broken. Okay, I don't know if that has anything to do with this texture, but this body, this cat body is broken. I can see through the line around the underwear. That's weird. I've seen this with other with other mods. Not usually texture mods that I remember, but nonetheless, you can clearly see through the body there. That's strange. Now, I have done a complete reset on all of this. Yeah, you can. You can totally see through. But I'm giving you a look at all the different um, presets, even though they don't make that much difference. It's really the the texture that we're looking for. Let's switch this over. Oh, wait. I have to do the other one to switch, don't I? Okay. That's all right. Let's just take her back to be in her gray self. Now, let's look at... I'm going to go into this. We're going to look at the male version. Now, he doesn't look broken, I don't think. Okay, so he doesn't look broken. Again, you can see um, you can see the smooth belly idea. This is the idea. Yeah, you can change that. The idea is that that chest and belly ab area, the idea is that that would be, I guess... A place where you could have abs. And you'll notice on him it even looks like he's a little muscular. So, and then you have the different tones if you like that. That kind of looks cool. Depends on what you like. I don't know. Like I said, I've never played with the Beast, Mas the Beast races a lot. Beast Master. That's an old movie. <laughs> I'm sure that's just, you know, one of those things. Alright, since we're here though, and we're doing this... Let's back up and let's go to the Argonians. I'm curious to see. I didn't see a break in the guy. And you can tell me if I missed something, but I didn't see a break in his body. If we play around with the beast, uh, with the weight slider, now it's the beast slider. Everything is the beast. So you have to bear with me. He has a very shiny solar plexus there in the middle of his chest, doesn't he? But anyway. He's got scales, but they cleared the scales off. They are in the uh, chest and abdomen. To give him a little more muscular look. These ports may be more successful for the guys. I don't, I don't understand why the girls are broken. Let's try the the lizard girl. You notice it takes a second to load. Yeah, she's broken too. Is that normal? Are the Argonians always broken? Are the Khajiits always broken? You can see that around their uh, right around their underwear there that they're you can see through them to the floor behind them. Hmm. I find that weird and strange and disturbing. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how big or small I make them, the break is still there. Hmm. 
But you'll notice she does, this texture does give her the smooth belly. Oh, yeah, you can change it. It's okay. So she does have the smooth belly, though in her case she doesn't look as muscular as the male. But I think there's, you know, if I remember right, there's ab mods that you could try to use. I don't know if they affect the beast races, though. But here I'm just trying to give you an idea of what this texture looks like, okay? I don't know what shows it better. That's not a bad color. What's... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to leave her. She's still going to be kitty. We're not even going to save it. And I normally don't have tails on my people, so it's kind of odd for me to see that. But you get the idea here. This is the skin texture for the Argonian. We should probably do... Let's do the guy for a second. Let's go back. And do the guy. Hold on. Come on, work with me. There we go. Let's load the guy up. Is that the one we want to see? I don't know. Um. Well, he's okay, actually. He'll be fine. We'll just bulk him up a little bit. Yes, he can be kitty as well. That's fine. All right. So, I mean, he definitely... He has a good lizardy look. I think that texture looks nice. See how he's got the abs there? And you can get a mod, I think, that gives you better abs. I just don't remember if it affects the, uh, the beast races. But nonetheless, this texture looks good. All of these textures look good. I'm a little concerned that the Khajiit and the uh, Argonian females have broken bodies. I'm, I'm very concerned with that. I find it disturbing. So anyway, those are the textures we're looking at. Let's look at the male Khajiit a little closer. I don't think we looked at him very closely. Here we go. Alright, so he's fine. I like that color. Let's we'll make him a little a little bulky too for a cat. And yes, he can be kitty as well. That's fine. Okay, so. So I think overall, they do a good job on the texture. I think the body thing is something else, so don't worry about that. Look more at the texture. Maybe all the vanilla bodies are broken, and I just didn't remember that. I did do a restart and everything, so there's really no reason for that to have been broken. But, but I did switch bodies around and do some different things, so... Nonetheless, what we're really looking at are these textures. I think the textures look good. I know I don't typically do a lot, again, with beast races. So, um, But as far as skin textures go, these look good, and they give you that smooth belly appearance that you might be looking for. And, of course, when your people are dressed... Hold on, let's just put, let's just put some clothes on. I mean, it's really probably not going to matter... Oh, I don't have the armor? That's funny, I don't have the armor. Where's the armor for these things? I have boots and helmets and no armor. That's really strange. Well, we'll just give them the, the nightingale, okay? So if you give them the nightingale, I mean, you'll see here how they look. And I imagine, let's, let's, just, let's just hop over. If we go to the girl, dun, 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 dun. it takes a second for those textures to load. Then, ta-da! Yes. Okay. Then there you go. She still is the kitty. And that, that, that looks fine. I mean, most of the times you're going to have your people dressed, right? I mean... I tend to have my people dressed, even if it's somewhat skimpy at times. They still have something on. So let's look at the female Argonian, because we looked at the male, and we may give him a chance too in a minute, but let's, uh, there we go. So see, you got the, uh, the tail, 
And the Oregonian. Nottingale. Let's switch to the guy. I'm, I'm just... I guess I'm just showing that... In my mind that everything... Is working okay. You know, they can still... Yeah, there you go. He looks pretty good. I'm, I'm losing. I'm losing my uh, words for that that I want to say. But nonetheless, just showing you that things are working, and uh, there shouldn't really be any problem. Most of the times, you're gonna wear some sort of clothes. These textures, when your skin does show, and look at his feet. His feet look good. His hands look good. Um, when you do see them. At least they will look good when they, when you run around in your underwear. So I think overall these textures look nice. Now I'm going to do our experiment, so bear with me. I will be back in a moment and we will try loading the girls into a CBBE body and see what happens. All right, so I have CBBE. Now this is curvy all in one turned on. I have that turned on. I turned off all my UNP stuff, anything that might cause us a problem. And then I left the kitty and lizard textures on, especially for the girls. Okay. So when I look at the female cat, now I did a reset and everything. I don't see any problem with her texture. She looks basically the same as she did. See how her belly looks and everything? So that texture should be working, and it looks like it is, I believe. Now I say I believe. What we will do is we will also check the Argonian, and then we'll check the males. Now, again, it takes a moment to load for this. Just give it that moment to load up. At first, I thought maybe I had killed my game. <laughs> but just showing you here, you'll notice her texture, the body, and the abs and all. And one thing I did notice is that now she's not broken. Her body is not broken. And maybe that's, maybe that's a good thing for the CBBE, that the body is not broken. Let's go up to the Oregonian. And we will double check the males to make sure that we're not causing any unforeseen or, you know, unexpected problem. However, there is an odd line there around the hip. I don't know that you'll ever see that. But it's just below the underwear. There's an odd line there. And it's actually, it's actually keeping the body from being broken, though. So I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's a glitch with using a CBBE body and this. Unless you have your person running around, you know, very skimpily, which I don't know that you would do that. But if you do, that would be the only cons time that might be a concern. I I'm not really sure if it would be even then. I'm just going to leave them named Kitty because I, I don't know. This looks fine to me. The only issue would be right there at the hip, right below the underwear. Um, but I don't know. I don't see that. Maybe that is a kind of a glitch, but it seems to work. It seems to be, it seems to look okay. Now, it depends on you. You may not think it looks good. And, and if it bothers you, then definitely don't use this. Let me go back to the cat for a moment. You have to pause these. I mean, you have to pardon these pauses. It takes a moment for this to load up. And it could be, you know, it didn't take this long using the UMP. It could be because there is a minor conflict there. Would you ever have crashing? I don't know. I have not experienced any crashing or any trouble. That doesn't mean that you wouldn't ever experience that. I'm just going to pop her out. Let's see. See, especially from the back, there's no difference. That line only shows up under the underwear there. And actually for the cat, that just looks like a dark, 
that just looks like dark fur. So for the cat, especially, now I'm using the vanilla. No, I'm not. I'm using CBBE, right? I'm using CBBE. So it's up to you. That's the only flaw I can see, but it keeps their bodies from being broken. So trade-offs, 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 right? Um, let's switch and make sure this isn't having an adverse effect on the males. And then I'm going to call it good. Um, these textures, you either like these or you don't. Uh, for me, I don't know that they make a real difference to me. But I just want to make sure that the guys will be okay. So I'm just going to swap over. I don't see any adverse effect on him. And yeah, I kind of have to make them walk around in their underwear. Oh yeah, he won't he won't face me. That's funny. But um Yeah, okay. So he looks all right. You'll notice their paws. I think their paws are their paws okay? I don't know what their paws are supposed to look like to be fair. It looks like he's wearing socks or something. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure that his feet look okay now that I see that. And I don't know if that has anything to do with CBBE. All right, so I made a mistake and I had turned off this mod. This mod is for my guys only. And while it does have a skin mod for the humanoids, it also has the body. It has the body that I use for my guys. It's a high poly body for males. And it just looks really good. And I had accidentally turned this off. So there's actually no problem in using CBBE with these textures for the guys. Okay, look at his feet. His feet are back to normal. They look good humanoid feet, which for a kitty is weird, but that's what they are. They don't look like those weird socks. That's because I accidentally had turned that body off. That was my mistake. I'm going to go back to the Argonian and show you the same thing. So there's no adverse effect on the males, which makes sense. I was surprised that there, that there even appeared to be. And that just shows that I made a mistake. The more complicated I make my shows, and I was trying to cover a number of different things. But look at his feet. Good lizardy humanoid feet, which is a strange thing to say. But nonetheless, they look right, looks correct. And this is with CBBE on. And the girls are still affected by that. And I will take you over to one of the girls. Just to show you that. The lizard girl here, she's still going to have the CBBE body. There's no breaks. I don't know. I don't know if I like any of the Lizard Girl presets. They're all scary looking. That's probably the best. That's that's saying something. Nonetheless, you'll notice that she, she also looks fine. Her feet and hands and everything look okay. She does have that one green stripe below her underwear, which you might think is kind of odd. But I don't know. Overall, I think it still works. Now, this is using CBBE and I'm going to hop out now and I'm going to show you that then we're going to take a look at these mods and I'm going to consider this done I just wanted to go through enough of this that you'd have a chance to see the textures and see if it would work okay with CBBE and see um, how it worked with the guys and make sure it was okay now remember for the guys this texture is expecting you to have some sort of good body Okay, and it mentions that in the mod, and we'll we'll point that out again. All right, so here I'm just showing you that I have CBBE turned on. Just wanted you to see that. Now, the, the mods we're really looking at are these texture mods down here for the kitties and the lizards. And they work well. Remember, for the guys, you want some kind of, they mention here, uh, and they mention actually tempered skins for males, better males. You want to have some mod that has a good body for your 
Khajiits, okay? Otherwise, they, they could end up, if they don't have well-defined feet and hands, they could end up with those weird socks or whatever. And uh, the same for the lizards. And that's for the guys. Mira, we kind of have to treat this separately, and maybe maybe me combining all this together was uh, is a bit much. This is going to be a longer show than normal, and it's going to come in at least three different parts. But... I thought it was worthwhile to try to show these together because they're very similar mods in what they're doing. Now, for the girls, remember that it says UNP bodies, and I really believe that's what they had intended. However, you will notice that I was able to use it on CBBE bodies, and it did work okay. However, there was some lag in loading the character editor. So, that may be representative of a problem. But other than that lag, it seemed to work okay, and it seemed to look okay. So, that will be up to you to decide if you really want to try that and, and, and go with that. That's up to you. But I thought I would mention that and show that. I didn't show them putting on all the different clothing to make sure everything, you know, was on par. But at least you know your game shouldn't crash from this, at least from what I saw. Um, you can always try it out and see if you think it looks okay. I thought it looked okay if you want to have C, B, B, E and still use these textures on your lizards and cats. It seems like it would work okay. Now, again, that's in just this little bit. I'm just showing you that it can be done. Um... Your mileage may vary depending on what you like. And if you're using a lot of other mods, you could hit a conflict that I didn't hit. So just be aware of that. All right. Okay. So this has been basically Monster Raider textures for, you know, the, the Khajiit, the Argonian. And uh, these were ported by Adam J. Esquivel. So overall, I say they... They look good. They seem to do their job. Okay? So it depends on what you like. Maybe give it a whirl if you want to. Alright? Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later. So I want to acknowledge these people who donate to the channel. Who support the channel. They put their money where their mouth is. And I really do appreciate that. So thank you to these folks. And thank you to everyone for watching and supporting the channel. This has been How That Smarts Production. Oh no.